Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to part 55 of my ultimate guide to Logic Pro. Let's continue our exploration of the MIDI effects plugins in Logic. This time we're gonna be checking out the Modifier MIDI effects plugin. Probably a criminally underused MIDI effects plugin, but it's really helpful, especially if you hate mapping your CCs with the controller assignments window, you may find doing this with the modifier a lot easier. So I use the modifier for three main things. The most useful thing the modifier does is it allows you to quickly assign MIDI CCs and other controls to plugin parameters on your channel strip. So again, if you hate using the controller assignments window, you will love using the modifier plugin to map your CCs. Two additional things I use it for are converting control values, like converting velocity to modulation wheel, for example, and also for reassigning continuous controllers. So if I wanted a knob or a fader on my MIDI controller to control the modulation wheel, for example, you can do that too. So I'll demonstrate all three of these use cases in this video, and I've made this Logic project available as a free download below if you wanna follow along. But before I get into the tutorial, I wanna quickly tell you about the sponsor of this video, Boombox. If you're a producer or mixing engineer, and you're looking for a fresh new way to collaborate with and collect feedback from your clients, look no further than boombox.io. Boombox allows you to upload your tracks and invite your collaborators and clients to a project who can then leave time-stamped production notes and mixing feedback on the tracks. Once you've made revisions, you can upload new versions of the track to the project. As a mixing engineer, Boombox helps me easily collect feedback from my mixing clients and turn around quick mixing revisions. But don't take my word for it, try it out for yourself. Head over to boombox.io and sign up today to get four gigabytes of free storage. Okay, so in this project, I have three tracks, an ARPS track, a bass track, and a beat. I'm gonna load up the modifier plugin on the ARPS track, and I'm just gonna bypass it for now. And the ARPS track is an alchemy instrument, and in this alchemy instrument, there is some modulation paired to the modulation wheel. So you can hear with the modulation wheel down, it's an open filter. As I pull up the modulation wheel, it closes that filter and also increases the resonance and drive of the filter. So that's a modulation effect that's already been pre-assigned in that particular instrument. But let's say I want to use a MIDI CC to control some other effect on top of the modulation wheel. So for example, maybe I want this tape delay to be on here as well. And maybe I want to control the wet signal, which is essentially going to be the amount of delay that you hear. What you can do with the modifier is you can choose an input event, like modulation wheel, for example, and I can reassign this to a plugin parameter. So under the reassign to menu, I'm gonna select learn plugin parameter, click or move that parameter, and you'll see that it learns it. So now modulation wheel is going to be assigned to the tape delay wet knob. Now to start off, I don't want the scale at 200%, so I'm gonna option click on that and set it to 100%. I'll come back to that in just a bit. But now you can see that the modulation wheel is controlling the wet signal of the delay. I don't know if you caught that, but the modulation wheel is also still controlling the filter modulation from within Alchemy. And the reason why it's doing that is because I have the through button turned on. So with the through button turned on, the input event will go to whatever plugin you've assigned it to, but it'll also go to Alchemy. So it sends a copy of this signal to the output of the modifier plugin as well. If you only wanted the modulation wheel to affect this plugin and not affect Alchemy anymore, you would turn off the through button. <laughs> So now it's just controlling the delay effect and it's no longer controlling the filter within Alchemy. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn 
the through button back on because I want that filter effect to be in there as well. Now I think the amount of delay is a bit much when the mod wheel is all the way up. So what you can do is you can use the scale slider to affect the scaling of that effect. So if you wanna make it more exaggerated, you can pull this above 100%. If you wanna make less out of it, you can pull it below 100%. So let's try something like 50%. And now you'll see that the wet slider only goes up halfway. Maybe I wanna do a little bit more than that. There we go. You can also add an offset by using the add slider. So if I set this a little bit higher than zero, what you'll see is that the starting point of the wet slider, even with the modulation wheel all the way down, is at 17%. So we're already starting with some delay in there, even when the mod wheel is all the way down. So these two sliders allow you to control the range of the modulation. Now, if I wanted to record that modulation wheel into the MIDI region here as CC automation, the first thing you want to do is make sure you go up to Logic Pro settings or preferences, go to recording, and make sure that your MIDI cycle on and off options are set to merge. And then what you can do is just record enable the track and then press R to record and play in that automation. So I'm going to start with this all the way up. And you can see it's merged that MIDI data into the existing region. Okay, next let me show you how to convert uh, MIDI messages. So I'm gonna jump down to my bass here. And on this instrument, this is just the ES2, there's also a pre-assigned effect for the modulation wheel. So with the mod wheel up, it opens up a filter. If I pull down the mod wheel, it closes the filter. What if instead of using modulation wheel for this effect, maybe I wanted to assign another continuous controller. So I'll go ahead and add the modifier to the track, open it up, and I'm going to make the input event a different CC. So you can click learn MIDI and then move that CC on your MIDI controller. So this knob is CC 23, and we've reassigned it to the modulation wheel. Now I'm using modulation wheel here a lot in these examples because mod wheel is the most commonly pre-assigned MIDI CC in most instruments, but you can reassign this to any MIDI CC. So I'm gonna go ahead and just reassign 23 to one, option click on the scale, and now I should be able to control that effect with this knob instead of the modulation wheel. But one thing I do wanna mention here is just because you reassign the event doesn't mean the mod wheel won't work anymore. It'll still work when you use it this way. It just reassigns it to another knob so you can also control it with another knob. So you can reassign continuous controllers. But one other thing I find really helpful here is converting control values like velocity to variable controls like the modulation wheel. So for example, if I make the input event velocity, now the velocity of each note in the MIDI sequence will be converted into a modulation wheel event. So what this means is if I play the keys harder, I'll get more of that open filter effect. But if I play the keys softer, I'll get more of the closed filter effect. And if I wanted to make more out of that, I could pull the scale down as well. So this is helpful if you, again, want to convert a discrete control value like velocity into something that's more variable like modulation wheel, you can totally do that. So if I go into my MIDI region here, right now all of these notes are the same velocity, so they're all gonna have the same filter setting.
And if I, again, if I want to make more out of that, I can pull the scaling down. But let's say these top notes, let's say with these notes, I want these to have more of that open filter sound. All I need to do is bring up the velocity of these notes a bit, and they're going to have more of that open filter effect because these notes with the higher velocity are essentially like mod wheel up, and these notes with a lower velocity are like mod wheel down. So that's the Modifier MIDI Effects plugin. Again, a criminally underused MIDI Effects plugin, and it's fantastic for mapping your CCs to effects and other plugins on your channel strip without having to open up the controller assignments window. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support, and thanks for watching.